We are back at the Saitama Hard Off. This is uh, probably one of the best Hard Offs we went to last year. Don't know how it's going to fare this year, but already there is a Final Fantasy International copy of number seven. Um, lots and lots of games. They got a Pokemon Sapphire in the box for 10 bucks. We are going to grab that. Switch case, 500 yen. Eh, not, eh, that's all right. It's not really what we're after. Um, yeah, last year this game, this place was full of uh, games and stuff. Uh, Mario Golf for three dollars twenty-four boxed. I think that's a good price. What do you think? I think that's a very good price. Um, yes, this store has a lot. I don't know how good it is going to be this time because we did raid it of everything last year. Maybe they've caught on to us. Maybe they realised. White people come here. Let's bump up the prices. Uh, Pokemon Gold for ten dollars boxed. Yep. Yellow for ten dollars boxed. Crystal for twenty. Do you want yellow as well? Yeah, ten bucks. These are very good priced uh, boxed ones. Crystal for two thousand yen isn't very good, uh, but these two we can get more than maybe fifty dollars each for them. So that is a very good price. Any Pokemon game boxed for under ten dollars is amazing in Japan. Uh, Crystal. This copy of Crystal was actually here last year. Do you remember this copy? It had all the stickers on it. Yeah, I think this so. This is still sitting here. Oh. Do you want to buy it? No, I don't want it. I don't think anybody would want that one just because it's covered in stickers. Uh, they've got some other games here. Nothing standing out right now uh, besides the Pokemon games. Um, yeah, I think this one might have gone a little bit dry, but we will still look, have a look around. I already looked at that one. They have a lot of games here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot here. Um, it doesn't look like it's as full as last year. That might be our fault for destroying everything that they had and taking it home, because that's what we do here. Uh, when we come to Japan, we buy up all of their items and then resell it in Australia. Uh, they've got some consoles here. I'm just rubbing my face. One thing to do in Japan is bring yourself a towel everywhere you go because it is very hot. A Famicom boxed for ten dollars. It's not bad. Um, here's their cabinet of items. They have Super Metroid for 1,500 yen and 2,000 yen for Contra. I'm going to grab a copy of Contra. It's a very good game to get. There's some uh, Grockman game down there. There's some Castlevania. Um, what else? There's a Game Boy Pocket in there for 2,000 yen. Very good price. Um, PS3 in the box, uh, 10,000 yen, it's about a hundred dollars, more than more than that actually, uh, due to conversion. Wii U boxed for 50 dollars. Unfortunately the Wii U is pretty dead, even in Japan. Uh, they've got a lot of Super Nintendo games, we will get to that eventually. My dad is just sifting through everything right now. Uh, how much was Chrono Trigger? Three bucks. Three dollars for Chrono Trigger. You do not get that prices anywhere else but in Japan. Um, he's just having a look at uh, what I already had a look at. But oh, Takeshi's Challenge. How much was that? Uh, the game with the weird face on it. No, nope, next one. Although that's ten bucks. What's the one you just moved? Is that Nina Jones? Oh, it's Goonies. Goonies on the NES for about a thousand yen. Um, it's got Metal Gear games in here. These will be about 100 yen each. Oh, 540. Okay, that's a little expensive. Normally you can pick the Metal Gear games up for about a dollar each in Japan. But yeah, it's weird. That crystal has sat in the same store for over a year now because that's when we came. It was last August. It's now September the 11th. Uh, I don't want to comment anything else then. That would be really bad of me. Um, 
but yeah, we're just going to have a look around, uh, see if they have anything on offer. Um, lots of 3DS games, Super Smash Brothers for under $20. Um, uh, my dad has found a copy of Majora's Mask. He might get it, he might not, who knows. This was a bit of a disappointment game, uh, I didn't really like it. It's sad, it could have been a really good game and follow the rest of the other games besides Gates of Infinity, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Ah, uh, there you go, the aforementioned Gates of Infinity, not a very good game at all. Um, yeah, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games have been hit and miss recently, um, unfortunately. Uh, Speaking of Mystery Dungeon games, there I saw a copy of a Mega Labyrinth uh, earlier, which is a very, very weird game. It's a Mystery Dungeon game about making girls' boobs bigger. Uh, Kingdom Hearts on the DS for a dollar. Wow, it's all sparkly on the back. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, it's got all sorts of weird sparkles on it. Um, lots of learning games here. What's my dad found? Lots of GameCube games, is it? Uh, a copy of Paper Mario out of the sleeve for 1,620 yen. I reckon it could probably be someone else's, just because it's missing the, the, the sleeve, the front cover basically. Uh, he's having a look in the... How much was Donkey Kong? Eh, it's not bad. I think we, that was the same one we saw last year and we left it here. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think this uh, off-house book off whatever. It's it's called an off-house. This one hasn't really been restocked since last year. I'm gonna go have a look in the junk, and uh, I'll have a look, see if there's anything around in the electronic junk. Uh, the junk looks like it's over there. I'm gonna go have a look at the toys first. Show you guys just what a hard off sort of has. They have all sorts of um, collectible toys in the cabinets and out of the cabinets. So we've got a Darth Vader figure, very cool. Uh, they have a lot of these airsoft guns, they're very nice as well. Um, there's a cool Stormtrooper, some, I guess these might be G.I. Joes, uh, the old G.I. Joes maybe, or something else. I don't know, uh, G.I. Joe very much. Um, they have lots of weird anime figures and little girls and all that sort of stuff uh there's i've seen this dude he absorbs people with his tail or something i don't know i saw a weird weird picture of someone getting a suck by his tail oh wow it uh this hard off hasn't changed a whole lot since we were here uh these weird magical wand things are still here from last year and uh yeah they're very obsessed with trains here as well um there's a lot of these train sets and things like that it's a little r2d2 um i think it's a bank maybe is he a bank i don't know yeah uh hard off is just a bit like a goodwill except you can find a lot of games here lots of lots of different games and uh stuff so they have a junk area which is all of their untested consoles and electronics i think i'm going to try and get into it now uh, this may be it here Uh, yeah, they sell TVs and computers and stuff. Normally the stuff in the junk section does work. Um, I'm not seeing any consoles around. So maybe they don't have any consoles in their junk section. Maybe it all just comes out here. Um, into this area. They have a super scope there. Didn't notice that on the first time around. I'd like to know how much that is. Is it only part of the super scope? Oh, it's the full super scope. How much? Uh, 300 yen. That is very cool. I think my dad didn't even have to look at the price tag for that to disappear. I just want to make sure it's 300 yen. Yep, 300 yen. That is a very, very cool price. Uh, I know people who would pay up to 80, 80 or 90 dollars for that. Uh, they have lots of Super Famicoms here. Super Famicom for 3,500 yen, or one in a box for 4,500. All the Mega Man uh, Famicom games for about $150, about that. Um, yeah, 
I haven't seen any consoles in their junk section, so I'm not sure if they have a junk. Those boxed Pokemon games, no they're not. <sighs> Never mind. I thought they were uh, boxed Pokemon games. But uh, yeah, no, this... It, it's been worth coming out here. That's all I'll say. It's not like it's been as good as last time, considering... Oh, there's still all, there's still all the Game Boy games down here we can go through. Uh, but I'm not sure if they're going to have many Pokemon games like last time. We picked up about 20-ish copies of Pokemon. Uh, there's a copy of Blue here for 324 yen. Last time these were all about a dollar each. So I'm pretty sure that's one of the copies of Blue we just left in here. Um, they have a lot of different weird games. Uh, Mario Land. All of this sort of stuff. Tetris. I think we left that copy of Blue in there last time, so that may still be the same copy. Um, yeah, loose Pokemon games can pick up for about a dollar each. Um, although I'd say this one has been absolutely raided by us last year and it hasn't been refilled, which is a little disappointing. Uh, there's the Nintendo 64 area. Um, I just think that this place might not have been Space Battleship Yamato. I don't think it's got its game in there. Maybe. Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, this place might not have been restocked, but that's okay. Uh, they've got a box copy of Majora's Mask. Uh, we picked up one for about the same price, so we'll just leave it there for someone else. Maybe it'll be here next year when we come back. Uh, they have VHSs and DVDs as well. Sometimes PS2 games get stuck in the uh, the DVD section. Sometimes people just don't put them back. Um, there's some Lego, uh, it's not Lego, Star Wars movies and Lego, I guess. I guess Star Wars can be Lego sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Uh, what have they got in there? A new area. I don't know what. Oh, that's Witcher. Fallout 4. That's a good game. I like that one. Not a lot of people do, but I do. Christ is cool. Final Fantasy. This is the only Final Fantasy game that I've actually played. And I did not like it, because I don't like Final Fantasy. Uh, God Eater, Final Fantasy, Dissidia for 100 yen. These are all about a dollar each. A lot of these PSP games. It's um, something something. Uh, Alchemist, Star Ocean. I don't know where I've heard that before. It's somewhere. Uh, One Piece. But, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if this place has been restocked or not, which is a little, little sad, but all of that stuff from last time was sold by us. We resold it all. We're probably still uh, trying to the, the lady on the speaker was talking, so I probably couldn't hear me. Um, I think my dad is eyeing off some things in the cabinet. He's got demons pressed uh, in the cabinet. An enslaved Kirby. Um, some stuff. Weird, weird collectibles. Uh, Beauty and the Beast DVD. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. My dad's looking up the price of Demon's Crest, I think. Just wanting to make sure he's not going to overpay at 4,320 yen, which will be about $55 Australian with the conversion. Um, I don't know, this copy of Crystal, it, it's got a story behind it now, obviously, because it was here last time we were here. Um, so, it's, although, there's the Japanese name of Seal, uh, is it Jugong or Seal? No, that's Seal, uh, his name's Powwow. Powwow. Um, yeah, but as I said, bring towels if you come to Japan, uh, sometimes the hotel rooms will have them. It's just a little hand towel. These are perfect for sweat because you will sweat a lot, especially if you are a thick boy. Thick. Uh, like me, uh, I am. I do like my food uh, a lot. Here you go. Uh, sea of Thieves, the American copy. Okay. Uh, that's classified as an import game over here, so sometimes import games do go for a bit more. Um, 
Um, I think this is another import game. It may be. Uh, it's in English. I don't know if it's... No, nope, that's in English. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. Sons of Guns of the Patriots. Very good game. Uh, it's a sad ending. Uh, if you haven't played Metal Gear, you should probably try and play it. I'm trying to get my towel back into the bag. Uh, I carry a satchel with me everywhere I go. Uh, this thing here. I put bins on it. Um, it's great to carry things around. Like my dad is uh, finally getting someone to the cabinet. You, you don't want it, but you want the other things in here? Okay. Okay. Funny bucks. okay. Looks like he's getting the two Game Boys for about $20 each. So that is a very good price. Um, especially Game Boy Pockets. I know people really do want those. Um, there's not much else here. I already had a look in the toys. Uh, the games are pretty dried up thanks to us from last year. Like we went ham in here. I think we spent around 400, uh, like 40,000 yen. Uh, I always get stuck with the which names are what. Elevator action on the NES, very fun game uh, if you haven't played it before. They had a re-release, like a sequel or something on the, uh, the Saturn. There's no Saturn games here, by the way, that I've noticed. Uh, maybe. Oh, there's Saturn games right here. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for like Doom, Doom on the, uh, on the Saturn. We recently picked up a Saturn uh, at a store. Uh, for I think 4,000 yen with the expansion pack and uh, metal slug for another 4,000 yen so about 9,000 yen for a very good console and a very very fun game uh, metal slug is probably one of my favorite games in existence it is very hard but very fun uh, here's some more weird games uh, classic Super Mario Bros on the Wii uh, Dark Souls. Never really got into Dark Souls. I can't, can't get my head around them. But um, but uh, yeah. We got game cubes here and uh, all sorts of other things. Yep, I think we're done here. Uh, this place has kind of dried up since we were here last. Still did pretty well. I mean, there's a big basket full of games. Uh, the three Pokemon games, I reckon we can get 50, 60 bucks each box for. So that's pretty good. Um, otherwise, we will be moving on to the next store, which is another hard off store. Uh, so stick around, and we will be there and watch my dad waddle away with a huge basket. Um, I don't think there's much else here I can show. Uh, they have some guns, I guess. The guns are cool. Very cool. Um, but otherwise, I'm pretty sure I'm done here. Alrighty, we're at the next store now. And already I've found a copy of Pokemon Green for 2,160 yen. It's not the best price, but... Um, yeah. Secret of Mana 2. Uh, which is Secret of Mana. Uh, 540 yen. Um, they've got some blue controllers here for 1,296. These will go great with the uh, the console I just bought uh, for 5,000 yen. I will grab. How many have they got? They got matching four of them. Okay, not too bad at all. They got a 3DO down there. Very very cool. We don't have the console. Uh, they've got a Mega CD here. Uh, for a whopping 30,000 yen. They have some AV Famicoms down there for 8,640 yen. Another Mega CD out of the box. Uh, Mega Drive. Uh, some boxed consoles here. Um, Dad's already into the fray, having a look around and seeing what he can find. Um, there's some boxed games in here for about 500 yen each. Uh, Mario Kart's a little high. Um, is that Chrono Trigger boxed for 540 yen? 
Okay. Uh, Secret of Mana boxed for 540 yen. Does that sound good to you? Chrono Trigger for 540 yen. Uh, Secret of Mana boxed. Yeah, if you want. 540. There's a few copies there, so pick your choice. That is. Four more five. Yep, that's Fatal Fury. Chrono Trigger, same game box. Different. Oh, is it the same game? Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe a different box. Maybe it was just me. Another copy of lots of uh, Dragon Quest games in here. Um, yeah, they've got a lot of games here. Not too badly priced. Um, there is a Game Gear here for 3,000 yen. We're thinking about getting this. Um, it's a pretty good price. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Yes, maybe? Um, maybe. Yeah, it's a possibility. It's, well, it's a maybe right now. Just because we need to worry about how much we have, because we have a lot of stuff. You just paid 900 yen for yours, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's not the greatest when it's getting up there doubled in price. Um, there is another copy behind it. Not just that one. Uh, it looks same like the same price. price. Some Star Wars Pod Racer there. Lots, lots of those games all, all the time. <coughs> um, I think I've looked at the figures for a moment. They got a lot of figures here. They have a Rohan Kishbe figure uh, from JoJo. I paid 1,200 yen for that one just a few days ago. Actually, at the start of the trip. Um, wow, this trip has gone very quickly. There's an X-Wing in the cabinet here for 5,400 yen. Very cool. Always wanted to own an X-Wing. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Isn't that Luffy? <coughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. That's finding all sorts of weird things. Yeah, these hard offs, they sell. Yeah, you can sort of see my reflection in the, the mirror. Hello! Um, Oh, in the, uh, the, uh, the TV. Sorry, not the mirror. Uh, yeah, they sell all sorts of things here. Uh, Gradius. Uh, these are all soundtracks, I believe, to video games, because uh, there's Gradius down there. Uh, they sell movies as well. Movies and DVDs. Uh, lots of anime. One Piece. Detective Conan. Uh, Death Note. All that sort of stuff. Um, Assuming my dad is having a lot of fun right now. He's filling up his basket already. He's happy. He loves doing this stuff. I love doing it too. It's a lot of fun. How much is that Game Boy right there? 30 bucks. 30 yen? Oh, sorry, 3,000 yen? I wish it was 30 yen. Let's go and Uh-huh. This is the Mario Kart exclusive controller right here. Um, it's black and grey. Uh, used to come only in the Mario Kart thing. Uh, here's four, uh, three games for 1080 yen. Uh, these are the, um, the classics things. I think that's a Mega Man game in there. Oh, I think you'll find, maybe, those will be, uh, it's not the whole lot sort of thing. It's, they're just loose games that they put in there. Lots of GameCube here. Uh, they got a lot of Super Nintendo stuff. Oh, Super Famicom. See, we paid uh, 540 yen for it boxed, or it's there for 540 yen. Loose. So sometimes all you gotta do is look up a little bit, look down, or over, and you'll find something else. We got some. I'm gonna get that Game and Watch. There's another boxed Game and Watch ball, one in there for 3,000 yen. That one. You want that one? Yeah. You want that one? Shut up. Uh, my dad is freaking out having a bit of a, a fanboy. I think it's a Pokemon Me in there. Uh, for 3,500 yen. Not bad price, not terrible. Yeah, bad we are going to go down to the junk section now. There's the junk section. Um, this is where they keep all of their consoles that may or may not work. Most of the time they do work. 
I think my dad thought those were 3DSs or something. But this place is a bit like a Goodwill. Um, there's all their games here. And we've been to this spot before, and it was okay. It wasn't the greatest. Donkey Kong games here for 324 yen. Not too bad. 216 yen. Donkey Kong Country 2. Well, there's Donkey Kong Country 1 for a dollar. So, it really, all I had to do was move my arm down to the next floor where someone had accidentally left it. And then there was another Donkey Kong. What you always do when you're coming into the junk section is you check the uh, Nintendo 64s inside there for the expansion pack. If they don't have the expansion pack, you probably want to leave it there. Most of them don't have the expansion pack. The workers are probably told to check, but if you get one that's cheap with an expansion pack, the expansion pack is normally worth more than the console. Alrighty, here are the junk Nintendo 64 games. Starting us off, we have Shadows of the Empire. Uh, very fun uh, Nintendo 64 game, not very good these days, uh, for 324 yen. Most of the time, these will all be the same sort of game. Pokemon Stadium 2, uh, which is their Pokemon Stadium... So, wow. This is a very bad up copy of Super Smash Brothers. This definitely tells the story of... Uh, how much is it? Uh, 500 yen. It's not really worth buying it just to clean up. Um, yeah, they got some games here. A lot of games. Uh, he's checking the controllers. Well, I am still having a look in these. Uh... And I'm making this a lot harder for myself. Hey, you Pikachu, uh, here for 108 yen. You need a microphone to play that one. And we don't have the microphone. Uh, there's a game with the Majora's Mask. I forget his name, Skull Kid. That's right. Um, Skull Kid, sticker on it. Uh, there is a Mega Drive, I believe it is. Uh, for 5,000 yen. It's not a great price. Uh, they've got a lot of consoles here. GameCube for 540 yen. That's about average. Um, yeah. Uh, DSi LL, which is their version of XL in Japan. Uh, yeah, they've got a lot of games in here. Some Final Fantasy games, Donkey Kongs. Lots of Donkey Kong games. Everyone likes Donkey Kong. If you don't, there's probably something wrong with you. I don't mean <laughs> I didn't mean that, but Donkey Kong is pretty fun. More Donkey Kong games here for yeah, three dollars. Final Fantasy VI for two hundred yen. Not a bad price. I don't buy all of these games uh, just because, as a reseller in Australia, you don't want to get all stuck. Wow, Gradius three, five hundred and forty yen. Ah, that's why it's so cheap. So normally this game is like upwards of two thousand yen. Uh, but, unfortunately, it has been through the shitter. Final Fantasy IV. Uh, Dragon Quest. Lots of these RPGs in here. Mario Kart, how much? 540 yen, not bad. It's Mario Kart, you can't really go wrong. Donkey Kong Country 3 for 324 yen. I like to put all the Donkey Kongs aside just in case we buy them to resell. Uh, Donkey Kong games normally sell pretty pretty well back in Australia. Uh, more of these RPGs here. Bahamut Lagoon. And this is a game I've never seen before. Bahamut Lagoon. Okay, never heard of it. Put it back in there for someone else. Here yeah, are their games. Are uh, their boxed games? Here's a, um, a Gundam game for 324 yen. Most of these boxed ones that are just kind of trash games. They're not called trash, but they're, they're junk. Dragon Quest, 324 yen. Final Fantasy uh, V here for 216 yen. I'm pretty sure my dad would want that. Would you like a copy of Final Fantasy V for 216 yen? Yeah, he gave me the thumbs up. He likes them. I don't really like them, but he likes getting them. Maybe he just likes, likes Final Fantasy. Oop, accidentally dropped uh, something off this. Uh, he's he's going ape shit in there. Ape shit. Um, 
So I typically grab out any Final Fantasy games that he would probably want. And he just sort of collects them. There's a Dragon Ball game here for 324 yen, featuring a Pikachu sticker. Very old Pikachu. That is the, uh, there's a card with that Pikachu on it. Uh, but that's what Pikachu used to look like back in my day. Wow, I sound like a boomer. Um, the Super Nintendo truly was the best console. Sips my Monster Energy drink. Wow, am I RPing in a bloody video? Uh, racing game? Yes, it's a racing game. More racing games. Ah, a little Tamagotchi. Uh, how much? A dollar. Yeah, it's worth it. It's worth taking the risk. Maybe someone will like it. It probably doesn't work. But for a dollar, it is okay to take a risk. They've got a lot of different things in the junk section. Lots of guitars, no strings attached. <laughs> Get it? Uh, <laughs> that was a really bad joke. I'm so sorry. I just It just popped up. As soon as I said that, I'm like, no, never mind. Wow, that's cool. It's a guitar. Guitar keyboard? A guitar, maybe? I don't know. Ah, uh, very weird. Lots of guitars here. Again, really bad joke, but no strings attached. Uh, some Famicom games here. This is the, the NES in North America and uh, Australia and wherever else the NES came out. You don't know what half these games are, you just sort of look at them. Some game about saving space ladies? I don't know. I don't know. Tennis. I don't know, golf. Um, there's the DS games down there. Uh, I think my dad has raided. Five bucks each. Nice. I think my dad went through, maybe he went through the Game Boy games, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, found one. One what? Pokemon Gold. How much? Two bucks. Not bad. Not a bad price at all. Oh. Alright, we'll go back and go. Alrighty, I think my dad is pretty done in this store. Uh, here we go. We've got a DS in the box here for $10. But uh, you can always see his large silhouette wherever you go. It'll be around. I just found more stuff. <sighs> what have you found? Pokemon Black. Or is that white? I don't remember. Platinum. Yeah, we just picked up a box copy of the original of that. But otherwise, this store has been alright. Last year it wasn't as good, but now it's a little bit better. My dad wants to get the, the boxed Game & Watch console that is in their cabinet. And uh, after that, I think we'll head off to another store. You got Persona 5. Always wanted to try out that game. Ah, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven. Very fun game. And uh, otherwise, yeah, I think we're pretty done here. Patrolling. <laughs> Uh, this is all of our luggage after the whole trip. So we came with three suitcases, we came back with four, and 